Good morning, children. Welcome back to our social science E class. Children, already we have completed four chapter for our first semester. Today we are going to start chapter number five, natural disasters. It is a geography part, children. So let's read and understand what you mean by natural disaster. On 12 March 2011, Krishna saw the pictures of tsunami in the newspaper. After reaching school, she asked her class teacher, Sir, I read the news about tsunami in the newspaper. How does the tsunami occur? Sir replied, Natural disasters are of two types. Disasters like earthquake, tsunami and volcano occur due to the changes in the interior of the earth. Whereas disasters like floods, cyclone, forest fire, drought, etc. occur due to the changes on the surface of the earth. So children, there are two types of natural disasters. Okay, One is due to the cause, due to the changes in the interior part of the earth. And second is due to the changes on the surface of the earth. Now let's understand deeply what you mean by Earthquake. The weak upper crust of earth suddenly experiences tremors either due to the collision of the plates or due to the tremendous pressures in the interior of the earth. Waves tremors of the earthquake originate from its hypocenter which is deep down below the surface of the earth. Such sudden shaking of trembling is known as earthquake. It is very important to know how it has happened to them because the waves and the tremors earthquake originate from its hypocenter. So this is a small big children of a hypocenter. You can just see in your textbook also. Okay, this is the hypocenter. This is the focus. This is the center part of the earth. Okay, now earthquake waves are created from the epicenter during the process of an earthquake. Earthquake occurs due to the internal disturbance in the earth. Why it happens, children? Because of the disturbance in the earth. Interior, the under ki baag ka disturb ho jata hai internal part earth ka. Tab jaake hume ye bhukam ka ahsas hota hai. So these are the pics, okay, of the natural disasters and scenes of the disturbances due to the earthquake. And some of the see, this is a pic. This is the epicenter, children, and this is the hypocenter. Okay, now moving further, the waves of the earthquake spread outward from the epicenter. So, yaha se waves kama se jati hai, yaha se shuru hota hai. Okay, the point on the surface of the earth exactly above the hypocenter focus is known as a epicenter. You can underline this sentence also. If anybody asks what you mean by epicenter, this is the definition, this is the thing you can just write out. The intensity of the earthquake is felt the maximum around the epicenter. The intensity of the earthquake decreases as we move away from the epicenter. The effects of an earthquake depends on the intensity of the earthquake. We can measure the intensity of the earthquake and know its point of origin, that is hypocenter, with the help of a seismograph. So, with the help of seismograph, we can just find out children. There are three main reasons for the occurrence of the earthquake. Earthquake caused by volcanic eruption. Earthquake caused by strikes falls. Earthquake caused by subductions in the active subduction zone. Subduction can be like side fissile So, it is caused of three types. Okay? Earthquake is the cause of the three types. This volcanic eruption. Mountains may say, volcanic hero putta hai, tabi bhi. Next, earthquake caused by strikes with force. When we have counter breaking, we have to do it. So, we have to do it. We have to do it. We have to do it. Now, the center of the earth is approximately 6371 km for earth's surface. Okay, now, let's study about volcano. What do you mean by volcano? Okay. Now, volcano refers to an opening in the earth's crust from which motion, lava, rock, fragments, ashes, dust and gases are ejected from below the earth's surface. So, these are the pics of the volcano. 
younger children already you have learned in the science also now there are types there are some types of volcanoes children let's study volcanic eruptions occurs due to the four main reasons children why it happens high temperature in the interior earth creation of magma creation of gases and vapor rising of magma towards the earth surface so these are the some of the peaks you can see the children this is the active volcano and this is a dormant dormant volcano now the magma is pushed upwards by the gases lying under the magma secondly the water percolating through the cracks and openings of weak rock surface turns into vapor this vapor is full of pressure owing to lack of space and tries to come out with a great force this vapor also causes magma to rise upwards the gases present in the magma reaches near the surface of the earth and erupts with a high pressure in the form of lava ash gases rock pieces of various shapes and sizes etc and this is known as volcano all these volcanic residues come on the surface of the earth and form a mountain like a structure if the amount of gases and vapor is more and the vent on the earth is earth surface is narrow then the eruption is dangerous but if the amount of the gases is less and the vent is broad and long then the molten lava comes out slowly and spreads itself on the surface of the earth so these are the functions of how the volcano erupts is agar vent patla ho to force zyada ho to bahut dangerous ho sakta hai but if it is the vent is very broad so slowly the magma will come out on the dear dear earth surface mein phailta jayega the aisa now there are three types of volcanoes active volcano dormant volcano extinct volcano now volcanoes are found at the various places in the world children there is only one active volcano in india and that is in the islands of andaman and nicobar volcanic erupts at any place or region leads to massive destructions in the local area when it erupts children it brings a drastic destruction massive matlab bahut sara destruction sab jal jata hai khet jal jata hai ghar jal jata hai because with force aag ubal ke bahar aata hai okay now volcanoes have certain benefits too the fertility of the fertility of land increases due to lava the agricultural production is very good due to the fertile and land in java and sumatra as it is made up of lava the potassium rich soil from the volcanic residues helps the farmers to obtain abundant crop production the hot water spring in the areas of volcano have been jungle a uh, killing property and that cure skin diseases at a lower depths from the surface of the earth certain minerals like mercury tungsten tin plate uh, platinum zinc aluminum etc can be obtained easily due to volcano the lava that pools down inside the vent or extent volcano turns into diamonds with the passage of the time the small rocks thrown out during the volcanic eruptions known as lapilli which have been provided to be very useful as they can be molded easily so these are the some of the benefits children that we can get through volcano because it has some so many benefits here you can see it increases the fertility of the land and it is very important we can get so many minerals from this and it's like act as a germ killing uh, killing property and it cures the skin diseases also children okay so i have completed part 1 of chapter 5 children read the textbook i will be coming with more natural disasters till then take care have a nice day